I'm Purple Angie, Young Maker and All Around Curious Kid. Today I'm going to build an Adafruit wireless weather station. Every morning, I need to find out what the weather is like so I can decide whether I should bring an umbrella or some sunscreen. So to make things easier for myself, I decided to build a wireless weather station from Adafruit. With it, I'll be able to check the weather anytime. For this build, the parts I'll be using are a 2.4 inch TFT touchscreen, an Adafruit Feather Huzzah, a 2000 milliamp rechargeable battery, and a slide switch. You can get all the parts and instructions from Adafruit. I'll have links down below in the description. For those that don't know, I'm a super fan of Harry Potter. So to make this build truly unique, I'll be adding a bit of a Harry Potter twist, but more on that later. Let's begin. Wingardium Leviosa! First, we need to get the soldering out of the way. There actually isn't too much. Just some simple header pins and a couple of switch wires. With the header pins attached to the breadboard, we can align easily to the feather huzzah. Next solder on the on-off switch. That's it for the soldering. Next part, the case. Download the STL files for the case and use any slicing program to get the print file ready. Then, just load it up into the printer and wait. Once it's done printing, put the screen and battery into the case and snap on its cover. With the main building done, it's off to the software. The weather station will use weather data from wonderground.com. This is done through an API, our application programming interface. An API makes it easy for programs to talk to each other. Basically, it's like a restaurant. The customer program wants to order something from the chef program. Instead of the customer going directly to the cook and bothering him, they use the API waiter. The API waiter will take the customer's order and tell the chef. The chef will pass the order to the API to give back to the customers. That way, the chef can focus on cooking and the customer doesn't have to figure out how to get into the kitchen to talk to the chef. Everyone is happy. To use the Wonderground API, you'll need to register on their site. It's free and easy. Once you have your unique API key, you'll need to add it and a few more lines of the code into the Arduino sketch so that the correct weather for where you are shows up. Set up the network and password and that's it. You have your very own weather station. But I wanted to make this a bit more unique with a bit of a Harry Potter twist. I started off by finding the mirror of the wizard from Thingiverse. I took that and resized it to fit the original weather station frame. Then it was off to printing. Once it was done, I painted everything in a semi-gloss black. I used a gold rubbing buff to lightly brush the frame to make it look old and metallic. And there it's all done. My very own Mirror of Irisid weather station. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel, Purple LNG. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye! Stupefy! Ha <laughs> ha